All right, my beautiful friends, we have to talk. Yeah, we have to talk. So let's do this. This is my post-market wrap-up on this Wednesday, May 27, 2020. Another rally on Wall Street. No surprise to you if you have been following this blog. This is it. Um, pretty much nothing will get in the way of this fake market right now. You know why. You know the groundwork here. Uh, it's a charade just like everything else. But it gets better. Um, so so let's, uh, let's do this again. Stocks higher across the board. Crude oil got hit today. Uh, down 4%. But understand, the price of crude oil honestly has no bearing on reality whatsoever. It is insanely overvalued in, in my view. It should be $15 a barrel. That's fair value right now. Maybe even less. But let's say 15 is the high end for crude oil. But that does not mean uh, that it's not going to get propped up again. Again, why? The energy sector is dependent on crude oil being high. The financial sector is dependent on crude oil being high. They're going to prop it up. So it will remain in this fantasy state for, for a very, very long time. Uh, that 10-year yield is stubborn. Uh, and a lot of this, again, is this U.S.-China uh, trade nonsense, back and forth threats. Uh, you know, the market doesn't like it. The market and the American people were promised a deal. The market and the American people want a deal. Uh, Larry Kudlow was out again today. This man has brain damage. There is no doubt about it that the man has got lingering effects from a massive cocaine abuse for, for many, many decades. Um, and the deal is pretty simple. Larry Kudlow came out, said, oh, the U.S.-China trade deal, you know, phase one? Yeah, it's still on, but we're just waiting to implement it. We're waiting to implement it. Oh, so let me ask you, Larry, we have a deal, right? You said the deal is there, but it's not being implemented. We're waiting to implement it. So even if we have a deal, which we all understand, Larry, we're not stupid. We have no deal. Um, why are we waiting to implement the deal that we have? Maybe you want to clarify that so we can all understand it because the market, the 10-year yield at least, ain't buying it. I'm not buying it. The people that follow my work are not buying it. There's no deal. There's never been a deal. So maybe you should lay off the drugs because they fried your brain. That's, that's the truth. So that's the story with regard to the U.S.-China trade non-deal. does not exist. Although Larry Kudlow says, oh, it exists. We're just waiting to implement it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unbelievable. But again, Larry believes sincerely that you uh, are a mental midget. But the fact of the matter is, he's a mental midget because he killed his brain cells. All right. Um, anyway, that's that's that story. Now, it gets even better than that. Bank of America today, you know, the Wall Street mega bank. Well, they came out saying the Fed needs to do more. The Fed needs to increase asset purchases. The Fed needs to increase debt purchases, especially corporate debt. The Federal Reserve needs to buy all corporate debt. All of it. Really? Oh, okay. Well, they kind of are buying everything. Uh, look, uh, again, this, this is what drives me nuts. Can't make this stuff up. It's impossible to do. But again, in the twisted environment we are in, this is what we have to deal with. Cryptocurrencies got a bit higher today. Uh, you know, with regard to cryptos, let me just touch on something here. Again, we've had this co consolidation period with regard to Bitcoin. We hit 10 grand. We hit my target. We pulled back. Um, we were down like 8,700, 8,600. Now we're on our way back up. This consolidation period for Bitcoin is massively bullish, in my opinion. Massively bullish. Um, and it's not just Bitcoin. Again, when I refer to Bitcoin, 
I'm talking about all the big cryptos. Bitcoin is the granddaddy crypto, so I kind of talk about it all the time. Uh, with regard to cryptocurrencies, I own, I own them all, all the big ones. My biggest holding is in Bitcoin. But again, uh, like I said, Bitcoin goes up, it pulls the rest with it. Metals. Let's talk about metals here. Metals put on a gain uh, today, but again, there is not a single asset in the world today that is more manipulated, rigged, uh, and, and, and everything else you can think about uh, than, than precious metals. The price action of precious metals is insane, the way it's priced today. Again, and I've covered this, let me, let me just go over that real quick. The physical metal derives value from the derivative. Let that sink in because it's not normal, okay? Generally, a hard asset is what derivatives are priced off of, but not when it comes to precious metals. It's rigged this way. So JP Morgan, you know, the biggest uh, rigger on the face of the earth with regard to gold and silver, they can pull gold and silver any way they want to. It could pretty much vanish off the face of the earth and they can, they can yank the price action of it all over the place. Again, it's part of the twisted, insane environment that we are in. But again, good, I don't give a damn. They're gonna play their game. We are gonna play our game. You understand? Uh, with regard to my lions out here in positions, uh, GE is ripping this market's face off. Um, you know, there's big profits in there. You might wanna think about pulling them. Uh, XLE is doing real good. SPY, we're still waiting for a few of the ones to pay off and they will. Uh, it's just a matter of time before this stuff comes around. Anyway, so let's just, again, touch on a few important points. And, and I think it, it boils down to the fact that, it, that two weeks ago, we started hearing members of Congress calling on the Fed to do more. Uh, Fed presidents themselves saying, we got, we got the cash. We're going we're gonna to do whatever you want. How much do you need? And then we got Bank of America today coming out saying, you know what, we need more QE, we need more asset purchases. Again, this is the bizarre environment, and no one really talks about it. I mean, I don't know how many other YouTube blogs are out here trying to clarify this thing, this, this twisted freaking thing, the freak show that we're in, because it's a freak show. It's beyond freak show status. I mean, we are beyond, beyond freak show status here uh, and all they know to do is again uh, our our inept corrupt politicians is ask for more debt we got to borrow more more and more and more and then you got freaks like Larry Kudlow oh yeah there's a deal we just we're just waiting to implement it we're waiting for the right time to implement that deal because it's so great seriously really is this the best we got this is this is it right well, I guess that is the best we got. It's pathetic. All right, look, that's pretty much it. Um, keep your eye again. Uh, yes, stocks are going higher. That's what they've been doing since I've been screaming from rooftops about it for how, for how long now? I don't know, weeks and weeks and weeks since we kind of bottomed out. Um, the trajectory for the market is up. The 10-year yield is still frightening to me, despite the fact that we have parabolic debt. How many of you? Subscribe to the Trends Journal and read the article that I wrote for the Trends Journal, Gerald Salente, about parabolic debt. I think I nailed it. Uh, I'd like to hear from you about that. Um, I love writing for the Trends Journal. If you do not subscribe to the Trends Journal, I would strongly suggest you do it. Um, it it's well worth whatever. I don't even know what Gerald asked for it, but it, it's, it's well worth whatever it is because you're not going to find another magazine like that on the face of the earth. Uh, and it's not just because... I'm a contributor. It's really the truth. It's great stuff. Uh, all right, people, look. This guy right here loves you a lot. I want you to think about these things. Ponder what's going on. And, and what does it mean for you? It's really what it comes down to. Again, to me, um, and the reason why I'm out here is I want every one of you out here to come away with a perspective, your own perspective. Um, Greg is right or Greg is completely wrong. But I want you to really think about these things and what it means for you, what it means for your family, for your neighbors, for your country, um, and, and how you can take action. 
what you can do here in 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 this environment. It's, it's just simple to me. I mean, I think we have it covered from every single angle. Um, you know how I feel about metals. You know how I feel about cryptos. This market, good. Trade the market we have. If they want to keep propping it up, we're going to buy coals and coals and coals and like some are going to pay off right away and some we're going to have to wait for. That's the game, okay? We're never going to nail the timing uh, every single time. It's going to be perfect. No, sometimes you got to sit back and you got to wait for these things to, to pay off. All right, everyone wants that instant gratification, but sometimes you got to wait for it just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, look, that's it. Awfully long video, talking too much. Love you a lot. Please share the video. And another thing real quick, my website right here, traderschoice.net, I think it is massively underutilized, okay? Most of you have probably never even been to my website. Do me a favor, and I'm, I want to hear from you. I'm going to read the comments. If you've never been to my website, traderschoice.net, there's a link in the description of this video. Just go over there, all right? Look around, see what's there. Take advantage of all the free stuff that you can download. Um, you know, there's a, a, a great chat room over there, like-minded people. There's charts there. There's a, uh, a stock picker there for you. My boom system is there. It's all free. Take advantage of it. So anyway, like I said, I want to hear from you. If you've never been to my website, right down here. Traderschoice.net, go look at it and say, Greg, your website sucks. Or, Greg, wow, great stuff. I downloaded this, that, and the other thing. Again, it's all free. Take advantage of it. I'm trying to help you. It's all for you. It's not for me. Love you again. See you tomorrow.